Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Praknevsky here. And in today's daily tip, we're going to talk about JSON files. All right, so let's talk about JSON. So what is it? I know it sounds complicated, but it really isn't. JSON is just a text file. JSON is a format we use to store and transport data. Let me give you a practical example. So we use devices to store and generate data, things like GPS tracker, heartbeat counter, and I'm sure you can think of others. I can't at the moment. We also have spreadsheets that we can generate data out of. So anything like that, if it generates data, if it holds data, you can export that data as a JSON file. And then it puts it all of that data into a JSON file. Then you can bring in that JSON file into your After Effects, and then you can use it in your um, projects, compositions, using expressions. You can point to those properties, to those values. And as things update in a JSON file, so will things in your composition. So it's super useful for that. And really what JSON stands for is this. JS stands for JavaScript, and then ON stands for Object Notation. What that says to me is this, that it's structured the same way as objects are in JavaScript. So the same way you create objects in JavaScript, that's pretty much how you create JSON files. And there is like one little change. We'll talk about that next. So if you don't know how to create objects in JavaScript, let me show you how to do that using expressions in After Effects. All right, so here we are in After Effects. And let me show you how to create an object using expressions. So I'm going to Alt click on the stopwatch of this source text property to create an expression for it. And in here, we're going to create just a random variable. It can be anything. I'm going to type A. And I'll tell it to be something. So right now, I'm going to assign something to that A by using an equal sign. So right now, A by itself means nothing. So let's create an object for this A variable. So to do that, we're going to use open and then close curly brackets. And the reason why we do that, because A variable can only handle one line of code. And if you want to put more things into it, you have to put it in open and close curly brackets. Or you have to put it inside of code block. That's another name for it. And what it does, this way, whatever you type inside of the curly brackets, JavaScript sees it as one code, one line of code. So you can have multiple elements in there, but After Effects will see it as, or JavaScript, whichever application you use, it will see it as one line of code. So I'm going to list some things in here, but I'm going to space it out like this a little bit. And let's create an object called, let me give some more space here. I'm going to call it human. Okay, and then I'm going to use colon instead of equal sign. That's how you have to do it this way. So human is going to have some properties, just like an object has properties. Human is an object that's going to have some properties. And again, we're going to have more than one property. So we're going to use curly brackets again, open and closed. So we're going to use code block. Okay, and inside here, we're going to list some properties. And just like the property you see in After Effects, you know, we have rotation property. And then rotation property has a name and then a value, right? The name of it is rotation, and then the value of it is the amount, which, which is like 45 degrees, 90 degrees. You get the idea. Well, in the same way, we're going to create a property by giving it a name and then the amount or the value. Okay, so I'm going to say the first property is going to be called name. The same way, instead of equals, we're going to do colon. So the name is going to have a value, and that value is going to be a string. So it's going to be text. It's going to be Elijah. Okay, so we have one property created. And if you want to create more, all you have to do is just go to the end of it here and say comma, and then you can add another one. The same thing. Now you come up with another property. So then I'm going to say age. So we have a property called age, and it's going to hold a value, or it's going to have a value 21. Okay. Let me kind of refresh our minds here. So we have an object called human, and then this object has two properties, name, which is Elijah, and then age 21. So now we can go to the end of this expression. I can say a period human. That's an object. You can see it's an object. And then I can point to any of these properties by pointing to the name of it. So I can say period name. And when I click away, it's going to give me the name, just like you see it in here. So if I want the age, I just point to the name of that property, which is age. I'm going to say age. And then when I click away, it's going to give me 21. So the reason why I'm showing you this, because JSON files are formed and structured the exact same way, except for one little change, which I'll talk about that next. So let me show you how to create JSON files. 
All right, so let's create our very first JSON file. And to do that, we're going to use this Notepad++. It's a free app. The link is at the bottom of this video. However, I think it's for PCs only. So if you're on a Mac, there are so many others that you can download. The one that I like using called Atom. I'll have the link at the bottom of this video. So once you have this, you can create a new document and make sure that the language of your document is JSON. And to do that, I'm sure in many other ones, you can find a tab that's called Language. And then you can go to J and then click on this JSON. Or you can double click here and do the same thing there as well. All right, so let's create our very first JSON. And honestly, to do that, we're just going to copy this text. So I copied this text and I put it in here. Right, that's exactly what we just created in After Effects. So, however, we do have to do small changes. I'm going to get rid of this A variable, so we don't need that. And that one change that I was talking about is actually this. So, in JSON format, you can't have just human like this without double quotes. So, it's a string and you have to make it a string. So, you have to put double quotes around it like this for every property or object. So, this name has to be in double quotes, which means it has to be a string. The same thing for age. And then once you've done that, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's exactly how JSON files look like. And that's what I was talking about, that objects, how we create objects in JavaScript look pretty much identical to how we create JSON files. So once you're done, then you can do Control S and save it. I'm going to save it as this tutorial file. Hit Yes for replace. And then now I can go back into After Effects. And then I can double click here and bring in that tutorial file. So here it is in my project panel. I can bring it into my composition and then I can go deep into it. And as you can see, we have a property called human. We can go into it and then we see property called name. I can drag that right into my composition. You can see name Elijah and then we have age 21. We can definitely do something with this. All right, well, I think I'm going to stop this daily tip right here. If you want to learn more about JSON files, you should definitely come back tomorrow. And if you want to learn more about expressions, you should definitely take our online course at ukramedia.com slash expressions. The link is at the bottom of this video. As always, like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But in the meantime, my name is Sergei Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.